Hello, you're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS and 3 or less. Today we're in the F-18, learning how to start this plane from cold and dark. As this is a quick startup guide, we'll be using stored heading INS alignment and skipping any unnecessary bit tests. As always, useful control bindings will be on screen at the end of the video. We'll start with some of our avionics so they're up and running as soon as there's power for them. INS to ground align. Radar to operating, FLIR to standby, laser spot track on. Cockpit lighting as required. Battery on. APU on. Turn on all three displays. Plus your HUD. As soon as the APU light is lit, you can crank the right engine. Do this by right clicking the engine crank switch. Wait for the RPM to climb to 20%. Press right shift and home to advance the right throttle. When the engine crank switch centralizes, you can repeat the process on the left engine. Left click the engine crank switch to crank the left engine. Roll left, roll left. Flight control, flight control. 20% RPM, press right alt and home to advance the left throttle. You can see our INS alignment has already started. We'll press stored heading to speed it up even more. Optionally, you can turn off the map display at the same time. Bring up the flight control page on the right screen and put the HUD on the left screen. We need to clear all of these X's and all of these warning messages prior to taxi. Arm your ejection seat and press control C to close the canopy. Turn on your OBOX, that's your onboard oxygen generator. Press and hold your FCS reset for a second. And the same with your takeoff trim button. Since we're not on a carrier, set the hook bypass to field. Set flaps to half for takeoff. Note that resetting our flight control system has cleared those exits from the right screen. With takeoff trim set, you should also see 12 degrees of upward stabilizer. Turn on your dispenser, ECM to standby, radar warning on. Our INS alignment now reads OK, so we can set it to IFA mode. This constantly updates the INS with information from the GPS. Note that all cautions and advisories have now cleared from the left-hand display. Set the bingo fuel quantity, uncage the backup ADI, and zero the altimeter. Finally, set your radar altimeter warning level. This will also turn on the radar altimeter. Release the parking brake, check nose wheel steering on, increase the throttle and taxi away. I've been Dan, and you've been watching DCS in 3 or less from Got Space Game. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more 3 minute DCS tutorials covering all of your favourite modules.